Hello, my name is Duncan Weeks, and today I'm going to show you how to understand the changes to our new Tier 4 final engine. The new engine not only meets emission limits, but also provides benefits to our customer by increasing torque, reducing fuel consumption, improving engine response, and also improving live link functionality. JCB machines are fitted with a selective catalytic reduction system, otherwise known as SCR. When combined with diesel exhaust fluid, which is commonly known as AdBlue, all the harmful emission gases are reduced. The only change you will notice is the new AdBlue tank with this distinctive blue cap. This is where you refill your AdBlue fluid. When refilling your AdBlue tank, cleanliness is paramount. Ensure that only AdBlue is placed into the tank and likewise, AdBlue is not placed into the diesel tank. Otherwise, this will result in high costly repairs. Storage of AdBlue is key. AdBlue in a sealed container has a shelf life of 18 months. If AdBlue is opened, it must be stored in a cool, dark place and consumed whenever practically possible. If decanting AdBlue, it must be done solely in a separate container to prevent any contamination. AdBlue must be stored between minus 6 and plus 25 degrees Celsius. AdBlue freezes at minus 11 degrees Celsius and must be naturally thawed out before being placed into the machine. If AdBlue freezes within the machine, startup and operation are not affected as the machine has its own inbuilt heating system to defrost the tank. All of our machines are fitted with a serviceable filter that needs to be changed every 1,000 hours and is located within the AdBlue supply module. If your machine runs low on AdBlue, the machine has an inbuilt warning system that will reduce torque and speed of the engine to prevent damage. The machine is also connected to the machine's live link telematic system and if the AdBlue is run low, a notification will be sent. Once the AdBlue tank is refilled, the system will return to normal. We also recommend that you keep a 10 litre supply of AdBlue with you just in case. And that's how to understand our new Tier 4 final engine. And remember, if you're ever unsure, please refer to your operator's handbook or you could ask your local dealer. For more how-to videos, please click on the button below. And whilst you're at it, why not subscribe to our channel?